Good morning, I'm Steve Cherm, Executive Editor of OC Metro and CEO of Cherm Media, and this is your OC Metro Minute for Tuesday, April 24th, 2012. In today's Orange County Business News headlines, for those that just can't live without their grande or venti coffee from Starbucks, there's great news brewing from the home of Mickey Mouse. The global coffee chain announced Monday that it plans to open six cafes at Disney resorts, including the first this summer at Disney California Adventure in Anaheim. It is the marriage of two colossal consumer brands and signals a response to visitors' complaints about the limited food offerings at Disney theme parks. The California Adventure Starbucks will be located in the Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe on Buena Vista Street in the new billion-dollar makeover of California Adventure, which is set to open on June 15th. A second Starbucks at a yet-to-be-announced location will open sometime later inside of Disneyland. The other cafes will be opened in and around Disney World in Florida. Now, if you're flying United Airlines or U.S. Airways out of John Wayne Airport in the coming weeks, airport officials recommend you arrive extra early. Security upgrades at JWA's Terminal B will require the temporary relocation of some departure operations for the two airlines. Beginning Wednesday and continuing for the next two months, United will relocate its ticketing and baggage operations from Terminal B to Terminal C. U.S. Airways will remain in Terminal B, but baggage will be processed through security equipment set up in the lobby. Airport officials recommend during the renovations that passengers on these two airlines arrive 90 minutes to two hours prior to flights to avoid delays or frustrations. So, you think you had a rough Monday? How about 1,300 employees of British insurance company Aviva who were sent an email simultaneously telling them they were fired, only to learn it was intended for one worker and was sent to a wider group by accident. Can you say awkward? In a world where email speed and technology drives business, every employer's worst nightmare came true at Aviva, a global firm with a 200-year history. Bloomberg News reported that the company's worldwide investor staff received the layoff notice because of a clerical error. A spokesman for the company claims most of the staffers recognized quickly that the email was a mistake, adding, quote, you know, from time to time things go wrong. Really? I know I'm going to pump the brakes long enough today to make sure that what I'm sending via email is correct. Finally, if you love to play golf and are looking for an opportunity to get out of the office and play one of the world's truly great golf courses, then mark your calendar and join OC Metro and Pelican Hill Resort for the first annual Corporate Cup on Tuesday, May 29th in Newport Beach. Better yet, go online today and register a foursome for this best ball tournament that includes lunch, a post-round awards and raffle party, and the chance to hoist the Corporate Cup and capture bragging rights for your company. For more information, go to southlandgolfmagazine.com slash corporate cup or call the number below. I'm Steve Cherm, and that was your OC Metro Minute. Check ocmetro.com throughout the day for continued local business coverage. Thank you for watching, and have a great Tuesday.